The star of the show is sitting here behind me. It's 562 Tango Mike. It's our Phenom 300 camera ship, dreamt of and built by our friend Jonathan Spano. This was one of the stars of Top Gun Maverick. It gave us our two engine reliability and unlocked potential we didn't have before. In Top Gun Maverick, the shots of the aircraft carrier and the F-18s deep over the Pacific simply never would have been possible without the Phenom 300. And today, it stands as the world's most advanced twin-engine, high-performance jet camera platform. The Phenom 300 came about from the dreams and ambition of Jonathan Spano, the owner of 562 Tango Mike. Him, along with his partners, created one of the world's most advanced camera jets, a year and a half long process with the FAA to fully STC this aircraft. The Phenom 300, we never thought that one day it would be carrying a camera in the nose, right? But think about that. I mean, by being the best in class jet, what you want, I mean, you want it to go fast, to follow whatever target you have. You want it to go far, to stay as many hours as you can. And all of that in an environment that allows you to have enough space to install the cameras. You have the large windows that will allow you to shoot with the cameras, to see it in reality, to be part of it, generating value in so many different ways beyond we ever could imagine. We're shooting Phenoms with a Phenom. Let's talk about what design attributes make the Phenom 300 a really good camera jet. And for me as the camera pilot, it's its speed. I can take it right up to 300 knots, which is our camera limitation. It's its useful load. I can pack this thing full of directors, producers, DPs, and I get to carry two shot over F1s. This means I can have a video system on the front of the jet and a still system on the back of the jet. These cameras have been modified from their normal life of working on helicopters. So the pinions, the gears, the motors, all those things have had to have been beefed up and upgraded to take on the 300 knots and our speed range. The Phenom 300, I'll tell you, I, I never really thought I would have seen two gimbals hanging out on the outside of an airplane with cameras in them. This Phenom 300 was built for one of, if not the biggest aviation motion pictures ever made, a Top Gun Maverick. And uh, what we found is that this aircraft is also perfectly suited for the missions that we fly at 3DF. With this system, we're now able to carry full cinema package on the outside of the plane. I have a fully stabilized shot over on the nose. Paul has his own fully stabilized shot over on the rear. For the most part, we can be filming and photographing at the same time. The advantage of having a stabilized camera system on the outside of the aircraft, in essence modified the plane that was built for Top Gun and tweaked it to be perfect for what we do at 3DF. Basically, we can go do a mission and come back with twice as much content for the same price for the customer. I love flying the Phenom 300. My job is to communicate to the other pilots we're filming and also make sure that we're communicating amongst the folks in the aircraft. They're basically giving me their wishes, their storyboards, their dreams, and we're turning that into reality up in the cockpit when we position the Phenom 300 in the exact right place to make a shot. But the biggest thing for me is an aircraft that's predictable, reliable, and gonna take good care of me, and this jet does that every time. Stay tuned for the next episode and see what's next.